Hi everyone, welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial series and this time we're going to talk about uh, after you already trained your neural network and you want to store it and for later on usage basically we just store the neural network, the variables of the neural network and then uh, maybe tomorrow you want to uh, retrain it so based on that model to improve that model so at that time you will restore these variables into your new model so today we're going to realize it uh, basically we just import tensorflow as tf so this tutorial should be fairly easy if you uh, understand the previous study and numpy as pn uh, maybe we don't need numpy for this time um, and this time this one should be the last video of the basic usage of neural network of uh, used by the tensorflow uh, later on i may include i may yeah i may include the convolutional neural network cnn uh, if lots of you guys want me to include that but at this stage all those previous videos and this one should be fair enough for you to understand how to use the neural network in tensorflow so let me know if you if you want to know the cnn uh, I, I i don't think i will go into the rnn which is the uh, recurrent neural network but that one is far more complicated so yeah just let me know if you want so the first one back to this one to save to save uh, save to file that is fairly easy uh, we have the way that uh, we have to define a, 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 bi a weights and bios right just for example we define the weights like we have uh, trans the weights to be like this one so this way, it's, just imagine this way, you already been trained. So you want to uh, store this weight. And uh, for example, uh, like this one. <laughs> just imagine this is already trained. It's, it's very good uh, variables for your weights. And D for a uh, D type, uh, df.float32. And we have to give it a name for later we restore it we have to put this name to <coughs> this name is just like a reference for you to restoring so wait yeah, it should be like this way otherwise how how the how the tensorflow knows to wh where to put the weight or where to put the bias so I think we should define the name and for example just copy and paste and for the bias, we just use this one to represent our bias. And D type is float 32, and this is our bias. Yeah. And for you, because you have to, uh, in the uh, real example, you have to initialize it. Uh, so tf dot initialization uh, initial, initialize all variable. And now we have to define a server that is to serve uh, to save saver to save uh, the trend that saver to save our neural network to say actually to save these variables at this moment the tensorflow cannot save the whole structure of your neural network they can only uh, save the variables so but but this is pretty useful if you want so uh, and I, I should mention I should also mention that please just remember to uh, define the same D type and the, the same and the same shape when restore restoring so uh, as I mentioned before like uh, the, the this 
saver cannot save the whole structure of your neural network. They can only store the, the variables. So when restoring the variables, you have to define the, the variables shape at first and the variables uh, D type and the variables name. So uh, later on, they will search the suitable shape with the suitable uh, D type and with the right name and put that as the reference and put the, uh, the, the uh, variables from the file into this empty shape. So let me just let me just finish the uh, save with tf dot uh, session as says and session dot round initial and save path saver dot save. Yeah, use this saver to save your variables session and you have to give your uh, the this saver um, uh, location or the path so I just use my net uh, dot save dot save my net dot ckpt uh, in here, I use CKPT because in the uh, TensorFlow's document, they are using C CKPT, so I just copy that. Uh, print. We're gonna print. After that, we're gonna print the save. Save pass. Yeah, they're going to return this one to the save pass. So I just print it down. Oh, maybe. Um, save to pass and this one okay I think also I should define that uh, folder what was nice is that save uh, my net right I should define the my net my net first alongside with my uh, scrap so let me try it. Yeah, all done. It's successfully saved to the path. So let me check out in here. This is all the files that do TensorFlow save the variables in those files. So you don't have to change anything in here. So when they are restalling, so I just comment this out. Uh, when restalling, And when restore variables, and just remember that that is very important. You have to redefine, redefine, oh, define the same shape and same D type. Uh, for your variables the same shape and same D type you can create whatever you want but make sure that that is the same shape and same D type as these two all right then you can put those file already saved file into that shape and D type so let me just create, uh, let me just copy this one. And uh, let me just try this. Or maybe you could try like this way, zeros. Uh, initial value. So I could, I think I could just pass to two column and three, uh, two, two rows and three column, two rows and three columns should be alright. And uh, D type in this one name is weights, and I copy the bios. and make sure I have the same shape 
as the buyers before. Their rows that is one one rows and three columns, right? And this is the buyers. And uh, and in the restore stage, we do not we do not need to uh, need to initial step. Yeah, this is set in the, uh, the document. We don't need to any initial step. Uh, the restore step will help us to initial those variables. So as before, we have to define the saver first. Tf dot train dot saver. And this time we're going to use the saver to restore session as says. And the saver dot restore. This is the method for restore and put the session in front. And my location, my directory. Just copy this. Alright. Then print. The weight and as below session dot round. If you still remember, we should round the W to get the value of W, and we should round the bias to get the value of bias. Bias session dot round bias. Yeah, let me just run it. Yeah, all down. You see, the weight is not all zeros. It's the weight that from this one, right? So we have one two three, one two three, and bias is one two three, right? So this is fairly very easy for you to understand how to store, how to save, or how to restore from the saved saved file. So this is all for today, and if you want to know more about TensorFlow, especially like the CNN convolutional neural network, just let me know. I will try if I have time. Um, so thank you all. I think that is the uh, last video at the moment for the TensorFlow tutorial series, and I hope you will like it.